Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about what if your partner, the parent of your stepchild, has a kind of laissez-faire approach to parenting, a kind of overindulged approach. I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. If you find yourself in a step family where your partner, the parent of your stepchild, is having what would be a kind of laissez-faire style of, of parenting, where their child is allowed to do what they want. Nothing seems to be too much trouble. They don't need to have to do a thing. Uh, the, uh, the child gets away with far too much. Uh, they don't contribute in the house and uh, the whole thing slides. And you can so easily see that um, this parental behaviour is not doing the child any good at all. In fact, it's rather sort of inbreeding a sort of entitled approach to what to life and what they, they could be expecting um, should be happening. So when the uh, parent, your partner, is allowing this kind of behaviour and indulging them, uh, spoiling them, um, and thinks there's nothing wrong with it, allows them, allows, uh, you know, feels as though they can get away with it. This can be extremely frustrating to live alongside uh, because you get caught up in the clearing away, the clearing up, the, the sorting out the messes that have been left behind, um, doing everything for the child when the child should be able to do it for themselves, um, seemingly uh, go along with their parent in terms of allowing all this to happen. But to actually confront the child is uh, risking quite a lot because then the child will uh, back away, reject you, um, and go to their parent. Their parent will then be indulgent to them again, and it'll set up a, a dynamic where uh, you are pitted against their parent. Um, the secret to this is, uh, and to be honest with you, um, secret, I mean, maybe that's the wrong word. I mean, it's this is not easy, but the mistake that often can be made is the step parent can feel that their their issue is with the child. Uh, they can feel that um, they can they can they can feel in conflict. Um, they can make a stand against the child. Sometimes you can stand it for so long, but then you can lose your temper and you lose your temper with the child because the child is the one whose behaviour it is that's such a problem. But the child, and by that I mean a child or a teenager, is just a child or a teenager. The real issue you have is with their parent. That's your partner. Now, you can brush all that under the table and pretend it's not a problem and try and keep your relationship good in other ways and you know I've heard it said people say oh I love my partner the only thing is that um, the way th um, the children are behaving and are allowed to behave is the problem well okay you may love your partner but then you also have a conflict with your partner because it's this partner that you need to speak to so to sort out the child's behavior now at the same time I will also freely admit it's really difficult to come into a step family relationship and if you're the parent of the child to share that parenting with your partner because up until then 
you have been the parent in child. It, up until then, you have been the parent in charge. And that might be a very long time. It's a long time, sometimes, since you started breaking up with their other parent, or maybe you've been a single parent all along. So giving another person shared responsibility for parenting is quite a big ask, especially as if there has been a fair amount of time, the chances are that a sort of symbiotic relationship has developed between the parent and child and they're probably closer than they would have been if there had been always two parents managing the one child or the child or children. So the dynamic isn't very simple. And you as the step parent need to realize that it's the other parent, is that it's, it's your partner, the parent, you need to be talking to about it. If you go into conflict with the child, you're only postponing the length of time it's going to take for you and your partner to get together on this. It is really best to bide your time, not go into conflict, talk things out constructively when the parent is in a bit of a quandary about what to do or things have gone wrong or they're, you know, there's a worry or a concern. And that's when you can talk to your parent about, the other parent about how things should be set up, what can be done. And you can do it more constructively then than if you do it when you're caught up with anger and conflict. So my advice to you here is to not go into conflict with the child, bide your time, take yourself out or away from the situation when you find it tough to manage. Your conflict is not with the child, it's with their, the child's parent, your partner, and you need to set up the systems, the communication, the um, discipline, the um, meetings, the consequences, all of those kinds of discussions need to happen with your partner so that your partner can begin to trust you to co-parent with them and together you'll be able to manage it. But if you distance yourself by going into conflict, the parent and child are likely to gang up against you and it'll take longer for you to get back in. It is difficult to turn a blind eye and not get involved in conflict with the child when the behaviour is not good. But manage it somehow, manage it a way Nurture yourself to be able to do this because to go into conflict is just going to ostracise you and then the more you feel ostracised, the more you won't be able to get back in and then the, the more ostracised you'll get until you get to situations where sometimes Parents can't even, step parents can't even eat with the stepchild and the parent or can't go out together. And that just means you've ostracised yourself further and further away from the centre of the family. <laughs> we uh, run workshops, sessions, uh, an email response service, uh, we write booklets, and you can find the link to our website and links to our social media in the description box below.